How does one survive a mass extinction? Are the survivors the ones with the best genes that are the most adaptable? Or are the survivors the ones that hunker down and wait for things to blow over? It's probably a bit of both, but there's a paper making the rounds now that supports the hunker down hypothesis. So around 250 million years ago, there was a global warming event that caused the death of over half of the species that exist. It was bad time. It got so hot at the equator that plants couldn't photosynthesize. Now don't worry, it is physically impossible for our current global warming crisis to get that bad. Scientists have thought that living things escape the heat by going either far north or far south, but this was Pangaea time, so there weren't that many places to go. Well, now it seems like we've found fossil evidence of one of these refugia in Xinjiang, China, which is now in the northwestern part of the country, but back in the day was just a little bit farther north than Bernie Sanders. Basically, this place was on the cold side. These rocks are amazing in that they preserve what happened before, during, and after this big extinction event. Scientists looked at the pollen and spores that were preserved in these rocks and found that the communities before, during, and after were gymnosperm and seed fern dominated, so there weren't really that many changes that happened throughout this crisis. It also looks like the weather patterns were pretty stable here, which would have made it a great refuge for vertebrates as well. So is it the survival of the fittest or the survival of those that are in the right place at the right time?